service user engagement, um, their involvement in hearing the voice of service users, the people who have the experience of our service is absolutely critical to us to deliver the best service that we can. We're able to hear what works and what doesn't work um, from, from our service users and then adapt or change our service based on that experience to allow us then deliver the best service to service users who come after. Um, and that's probably one of the things that we will say to the service users who are involved in our groups, that they may not see the benefit, um, but individuals who come through our door after them absolutely will. We have groups now in most parts of the province um, with another number um, due, to come, due to come on board now shortly. So those groups provide service users with an opportunity to come together to talk about their experiences um, of probation and of their time in custody perhaps as well. And based on then that collective experience, they are then able to really give us huge insight into what works for them and what doesn't. Um, and we've received feedback in relation to community service, in relation to the documentation that we use, in relation to the, the leaflets that we give to individuals or interventions. And based on all of that, then we are able to improve the service that, that we are delivering. And I think hearing Maria's story is absolutely critical for us to, to hear what has worked for her. So we will work internally with our staff, with our social work qualified staff and with our support staff to deliver counselling and support where we can and then assess the level of intervention that's needed and liaise with our health partner professionals and also community and voluntary sector groups who are, who are delivering services in local communities to, to address the, the issue of addiction to allow us then refer individuals to the level of support that they need and then support them through that.